Hi, it's a beautiful morning over here. So good morning. The birds are singing and life is so sweet. My name is Dr. Ia Izebasi and I'm doing the basic chemical pathology series. Our interesting topic for today is water intoxication. Do you know that water can get you killed? <laughs> it's very important for life, but when you drink it in excess, it can get you killed. Wait and see how. <laughs> so, please, as usual, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share. We are more than 1.2K subscribers. I'm moving on and it's all because of you. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Please, let's keep doing it again and again and again. So what are my learning objectives for today? Uh, you should be able to define what are intoxication. You should be able to describe the signs and the symptoms and causes of what are intoxication. And you should be able to explain the physiological and biochemical consequences of water intoxication. Are you ready? Let's move. Very interesting topic. So what is water intoxication? Actually, water intoxication is a condition that occurs when the amount of water leaving the body is less than the amount of water taken in. I had said in my first video about water balance that if you, for you to have water balance, your water input must be equal to your water output or your water gain must be equal to your water loss. So if the water you are gaining is more than the water you're losing, you are going to have what is called water intoxication, another name, AKA water poisoning, hyperhydration, overhydration, water toxemia, just take your pee. <laughs> so usually when you have water intoxication, it results in a potentially fatally a fatal disturbance of you know brain functions, all right, because uh, the normal balance of electrolytes is pushed outside the safe limits. You know, when you excessively drink water, a lot of things also happen in the body that can cause these uh, conditions to occur, all right. So, but when you compare it to dehydration, it's actually quite uh, rare, but actually, there are some conditions that would um, lead to it. So what are the signs and symptoms of water intoxication? When somebody is intoxicated with water, it feels nauseous, it wants to vomit because the excess water in the body wants to get rid of it. So you want to feel like vomiting, you feel, you know, feel like queasy, you know, you because when you drink over drink water, when you're intoxicated with water, when you're overhydrated, I told you that the cells will swell. Yes, actually, the cells will swell. Remember the red cell that was lysing? The cells get swollen. The intracranial pressure, which is the pressure in the brain, increases. And when the pressure in the brain increases, it results in you having headache. All right? You begin to have changes in mental stage. As if the person behaves as if he's strong, cannot really stand very well. Even if he stands, he's swaying like somebody who is uh, drunk. And uh, you can also have like a disorientation. You don't know where you are, don't know where you are going. It's like as if you, you want to get mad, you know, mental, somehow, somehow like that, you know. You can also be confused because one of the organs that is very highly affected by the, the water intoxication is the brain. Then you could also feel drowsy and then also muscle cramps. Then, what are the conditions that uh, may result in uh, dehydration? You could have drowning. Somebody goes to go and swim and drowns. You know, drowning will involve you drinking a lot of water that can result in water toxicity or uh, water intoxication. And then you have this contest where they're like, ah, let's see the best eating uh, person, the best water drink, uh, drinking person. You're having a competition. Many people are known to have died in those kind of competitions as you're drinking water, you could over drink the water, you know, and it, uh, 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 result in water intoxication because the contest involves you drinking as much water as you can. So some people drink three liters, four liters, five liters, and begin to have this situation. Some people have been known to drop dead 
immediately after the competition or even during the competition. There are so many examples. If you go online and check, you will find out those stories. And then uh, if you do do long bouts of exercise, you find out that, like, okay, let's look at the people that run marathon. They always have this water they always carry, you know, to rehydrate themselves. So if you over rehydrate this yourself, because have, as long as you're doing the exercise, you will keep getting thirsty. As long as you keep testing, uh, getting thirsty, you will keep drinking water. All right. So if you over consume fluid, especially pure fluid, you would have water intoxication. So most of the time, professional runners, when they are running, they have formulations that they drink, which are rich in electrolytes, rich in glucose and all that. Like, uh, I think there's one that they call Gatorade and all that. So they drink those to avoid this water intoxication um, happening. Then you have a, a, a method of torture called water cure. Where I don't know whether you've seen it in films. They hold the person's head like this and you dip it in a drum of water. If you don't burn, if you don't do this, we are going to get it. And they put you there and you're swimming inside the water, you're drinking water and all those things. <laughs> those kind of things can um, happen, all right? So such a person can become uh, intoxicated with uh, water. So also uh, some medical conditions like um, medical conditions like uh, congestive heart failure also can cause uh, water intoxication because the heart is supposed to pump blood all over the body. All right, the pressure is supposed to bring back the blood to the heart to pump, but when the heart is weak. It cannot do this. So you have uh, accumulation of fluids in extremities. Uh, you know, you look at such people, they will have edema in the legs, pitting edema and all that. Also, if you have Corn syndrome, Corn syndrome is where your adults to run, your cortex, adrenal cortex works too hard rather than not working at all. So it's overworking. So when that happens, you will have more reabsorption of sodium. And like I told you, when sodium is being reabsorbed, you have water following it, okay, in. So you could also have um, high levels of uh, water during this corn syndrome. Then low body mass um, in fluids can also uh, result in, uh, uh, what they call it, water intoxication. Remember when our mothers would hold your nose like this, open your mouth like this, they don't care whether you are okay or not. The thing is that you must eat. They hold you in, in between their laps. Hold your nose. Pour that akabote. It concerns you what it happens. And also there are psychiatric conditions like um, psychogenic polydipsia. Okay. Well, it's kind of like... Um, somebody's ill mentally and uh, that mental illness involves a thirsty and thirsty and thirsty and thirsty and the person keeps drinking and drinking and drinking and, drink, and because of his mental state he does not have feedback that this water you're drinking is enough such a person can become intoxicated with uh, water then iatrogenic causes in this case this is a uh, cause due to drugs that you are taking or medical treatment Okay, it involves um like uh, there's this situation where some people say I want to go and wash my blood and they go to quacks. These are not real medical doctors. They go to quacks and they tell them I want to wash their blood. These quacks because they can you know insert um what do they call it insert uh, uh needles into the so set of the um set of the what do they call that thing again. <laughs> They can set up the drip. So they set up the drip and infuse the person. So you can see that in less than 20 minutes, the person has infused like two or three liters into the body. And the body may not be able to bear this. All right? The body may not be able to bear it and it become water intoxicated. In fact, there is um, one of uh, our persons that we knew that that happened, the person used her car, drove to the park's place, told them that she wanted to wash her blood and got infused with almost three liters, you know, of parenteral fluid. The lady remained there and died. Till today, she's gone. She wasn't sick. What happened? She became water intoxicated. All right. Then there are some drugs that when you drink like um, psychiatric uh, medications like Oxcarbacin, 
If you do take that, you can also have this, I want to drink water, I want to drink water syndrome, you understand, and get water intoxicated. Then there's something interesting called syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. What is ADH? Antidiuretic hormone. And what does it do? It helps water resorption. In this case, you are over secreting ADH or your ADH is overactive. So what happens is that the ADH continues reabsorbing water, continues reabsorbing water until your body is full of water. <laughs> In that case, you would have uh, water uh, uh, intoxication. All right? So what are the physiological consequences of water intoxication? Uh, you could have cerebral edema that's built up of fluid in the brain. Like I said, you could have mental uh, altered mental status. You are behaving as if you're mentally stable, you're disoriented, you're confused, you're lethargic, weak, and all that. Then you could also have nausea and vomiting. You have uh, hypertension because um, you have increased the volume. The heart has to work harder. Okay, so it has to beat harder to be able to pump the amount of blood that it's being presented to eat. It has to beat stronger so you can have hypertension, bradycardia, and you could also have um, hyperventilation that is dyspnea. The person cannot breathe well, so it breathes, you know, kind of faster, trying to make up for uh, the air it's not getting. You could have headaches, and if it proceeds, you could have coma and death. Um, but chemically, you could have disturbances in electrolyte balance, which results in a rapid decrease in sodium serum concentration and eventual death. So you could also have polyuria, in which case you are producing a very large amount of urine, more than um, 2,400 uh, meals in less than in 24 hours. You could also have low hematocrit because your blood is diluted. You have low uh, hematocrit, that is even low PCB, low proteins, apparently. Then also you would have you would have decreased uh, uh, urea, you know, creatinine because of the hyperdilution of the body fluids. All right. So how do we manage water intoxication? All right. But first of all, when the person comes, you have to, you know, evaluate the person by doing some lab uh, tests, some blood tests to monitor the person's hydration status and electrolyte uh, levels. The electrolyte you're looking at very much is your sodium because that is the electrolyte that is most you know, affected. Then you have to treat the condition that causes the overhydration because not just drowning and run and water cure, you could have other medical conditions that could arise from this. You also could give the person hypertonic saline, that is a solution that contains a lot of uh, salt in it, is given to the patients to treat uh, severe hyponatremia, those that have hyponatremia. And if it is a medication that is causing the problem, please stop taking the medication. Then most of the people that, um, actually I put it in the physiological consequences, most of the people that have water intoxication also present with uh, edema and high blood pressure. I think I talked about the high blood pressure. I didn't talk about edema. So most of them have edema and high blood pressure. So you need to be able to control um, the edema that you're having and manage the edema you're having and control the high blood pressure. So we've got to the end again. Very short but interesting lecture. Like I've always said, you're my best viewers ever. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you, fppt.com for your awesome free templates. Bye. <laughs> Take care and bye. 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 <laughs>